This video is going to demonstrate how to create a custom dimension style in Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to start with a drawing that's already completed so we can see the changes as we go through. You'll see that this drawing is completely dimensioned. It's got a front view. Uh, it's got a, a section view with a, an aligned section. It's got a detail view. It's got several different dimensions placed in different locations. And as we zoom up on it, you know, you'll see that it's got the standard Tahoma font, which isn't necessarily very attractive. Um, it's got horizontal dimensions on our dimension line so that as they intersect with each other, it creates, you know, gaps and that kind of stuff. And there's just a few inconsistencies that we're going to clean up and we'll go through and do these one at a time. To create your custom uh, dimension style, you go to the Manage tab, and you're going to choose the Styles Editor. I suggest that you begin by creating a new style. Don't modify this default standard ANSI style. Just right-click on that and choose New Style. And we're going to call this INDRB40 so that it's for this class. We're going to base it on that ANSI, the one that's above there. Choose OK. And then we'll go ahead and double click right here to make it the active style. So <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll go through and look at some of these different things you can change. Uh, you can see that there are a lot of different things you can change in this new default or in this new style that we've created. We're not going to look at everything today. But we're going to start off by looking at the text. If I come down here to text and expand it, you'll see that there is label text and note text. Okay, I'm going to start off with the note text. And you'll see that it does have that Tahoma character, that Tahoma font, uh, which in my opinion is not very attractive. So what I'm going to do is drop this down and just type in ROM, and you'll see that it takes me directly to the Roman S fonts. I'm going to choose this Roman S IV25. It's a true type font. Um, it looks a lot like the Roman S font. It's basically the identical font that you would use in AutoCAD. And I like the way that shows up. So we're going to choose that one. And then we're going to change the text height here from 1 8th of an inch basically to 3 30 seconds. Uh, by making the text height just a little bit smaller, we'll be able to fit a lot more information in and it's still just as readable. Um, it's, it's still just as acceptable. So I'm going to type in 330 seconds or 0 0.09375 there. And then um, I can choose save and you'll see right away that it changes the font over here in you know all of the notes. Okay, We're going to do the same thing for the label text. So we're going to change this font here to the Roman S I V 25 but this text we're going to going to make an eighth of an inch tall 0.125 okay, and we'll save that so now you'll notice that it's also changed the the labels here again just makes it a little bit more attractive uh, a little bit easier to read in my opinion a little more appropriate for the traditional mechanical drawing so from here, I'm going to just collapse this back down. We're going to go back up now to um, the center lines. So we're going to look at center lines next. Right here under center marks, I will expand this. You'll see that there's only one center mark. So if I click on this, it's going to give us the ability to change these things. You'll see that each of these different things can be changed, A, B, C, and D. So A is the length of the dash, B is the gap, C is the overshoot here, D is this space. And in order to get something that's going to work for the drawings that we're creating in this class, we're going to change the mark to an eighth of an inch, so 0.125. We're going to change the gap here to 1 16th of an inch, so 0.0625. The overshoot, we're going to add a distance there. We're going to make it 3 sixteenths, 0.1875. And then the extension here in the middle, we're going to make that 1 eighth of an inch as well, 0.125. There are not going to be a whole lot of changes that you'll see in here, 
but when I choose save, you'll notice that there are some changes that have occurred down here to our center lines. So this center line here, for example, that did not have the gap before and now has the gap and the dash in the middle, it changed this one up here to make it look more appropriate as well. Now that we're done with that, we can minimize that. And we can come down here now to the dimensions. So we'll expand dimensions. And the one that we want is this default ANSI. So we'll click on here. <clears throat> And we're going to uh, start off with, well, I'll just talk about units here. The units are actually fine. We want decimal units with two places of precision. If you wanted to change your precision, you could do that. If you wanted to go with fractional units, you could choose that here as well. Um, we do, yes, you do want to display trailing zeros. You do not want to display leading zeros. So they have this already set up correctly. From here, we're going to go to the Display tab. And you can see that you can control everything regarding the uh, dimensions here. So they have the extension here set in an eighth of an inch, which is fine for eighth inch dimensions, but we've changed our dimensions to 3 30 seconds. So I'm going to change the A distance there to 3 30 seconds as well, 0 0.09375. The offset origin is perfect at a sixteenth of an inch. This gap, the distance between the number and the, the dimension line is good at a thirty-second of an inch. The spacing D is the distance between, and uh, it's very close to a quarter of an inch, which is fine, and the spacing or the part offset is very close to three-eighths of an inch, so we'll just leave those the way they are. The arrowheads um, we're going to make those to make the same size as the uh, as the text itself. So we'll just change that to 0 0.09375. And we'll change the height of it to just 0 0.03 so that it maintains approximately that same uh, dimension there. Moving over to the text, everything now here is good. You'll notice that it already has the note text applied the primary text style applied. The only thing that we need to change is on the aligned dimensions. We don't want it with horizontal text, but we want it with aligned text. So you choose that option. And with vertical dimensions, we don't want horizontal text, but we want aligned text. So we'll pick that one. When you choose save here, you'll notice now that all of our dimensions that were horizontal are now aligned with the dimension lines, which is good. Everything else on this is good. We're not working with tolerances right now. All of these options are pretty good. We're not doing any ordinate dimensions or anything like that. Notes and leaders, this is all set up properly as well. So at this point, you can save and close. And now you can see that you've got dimensions that look more like what we would have done in the mechanical drawing classes, INDR 12, 20A, 20B. So we've got something that's a little bit more uh, consistent. Finally, if you want to take this information and save it, <clears throat> I'll save this drawing. If you go to the File tab here and you choose Save As, you'll see here that you have this option to save a copy as a template. Um, I would do this in a blank drawing, not a drawing that has geometry in it already. But it'll take all of these changes that you've already applied to the dimension style, and you can create a new template so that you don't have to go in and make all of those changes ever again. You can just select that template when you want to create a new drawing. And this concludes the how to create the dimension style in AutoCAD or in Inventor.